Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is a little before eight o'clock today, and I thought I would take you along on a work day in my life. It's been a little bit since I've done one of these. Some things might have changed since the last time. I think it's interesting to see what other people's jobs are like, so maybe someone will find this one interesting. I usually start working anywhere between 7.30 and 8. It's very easy when I'm working from home because the commute is basically non-existent. I do go into the office now and then. It's few and far between, but I'm trying to go back a little bit more frequently. I don't have any need to go into the office unless I'm doing in-person testing or anything like that, but at the moment the projects that I'm working on don't have me doing many of those things, which I'm totally fine with. I love the flexibility and being able to work from home. It is really great from my perspective, which I'm sure I will talk about throughout the day, but yeah, the first part of my day, especially on Mondays, is probably very similar to a lot of people's. I just go through and catch up on my emails. I look at my schedule, see how many meetings I have, honestly, for the week, because I like to mentally prepare. A lot of the work that I do is just on my own, focusing in and getting stuff done. So meetings kind of interrupt that. So I like to have an idea of how I need to structure my week. So gonna take a quick look while I'm recording. It looks like I only have one meeting today. It's a team meeting. Um, so that's not too bad during lunchtime. So that is pretty standard for Mondays, honestly. I never really have many meetings at all, which is very nice to start the week and kind of get back into the swing of things. So I'm going to go through some emails, catch up on some things, and then we will go from there, see what our to-do list looks like for the day. I just made myself a to-do list. I have a little whiteboard that I put up over here and I like to kind of jot down everything that I need to get done for the day, for the week. I'm not gonna show you exactly what's on there, but I will kind of talk through it. I've mentioned what I do for work in past videos, but in case you haven't seen those, in case you need a refresher, I am a medical device engineer. Just, that's broadly what I say what I do when somebody asks because in general people kind of understand what that means, but more specifically, I am a systems engineer. And what that means is when you're working on a complex system, you have mechanical components that the mechanical engineers work on, you have electrical components that the electrical engineers work on, software, disposables, you have all of these different subsystems that make up the larger whole. As a systems engineer, I take a step back from those subsystem level views and I'm looking at the full system and thinking, okay, what does this whole system need to be able to accomplish at the end of the day? And then that gets broken down into what those different subsystems do and that's where the other teams take it and run with it. So I'm just looking at the bigger picture, what the full system has to do. And the company that I work for makes dialysis machines. So if you think about um, kidney failure, people go on dialysis, that's what I'm working on, the machines that essentially replace the kidney. And right now I'm working on two different projects. The first project is pretty straightforward and if you work in the medical device industry you might be aware, but the EU has had a change in their laws and regulations that apply to medical products. They are switching from MDD, which is the Medical Device Directive, over to the MDR, which is Medical Device Regulation. They basically did an overhaul of everything, changed some regulations, and now there's a certain amount of time that companies have to get their devices up to these new standards. So that's one of the projects that I'm working on. It's basically going through our current systems that we currently sell in the EU, looking at what it meets for the MDR, where there might be gaps, how can we fill those gaps, things like that. 
and we're pretty far along in that project. A lot of what I've been doing is more on the documentation side, just looking for evidence of certain things and testing and looking at labels, all of that fun stuff. The other project that I'm working on that is more of my main focus, although the MDR project is the highest priority, so if something comes up there, I need to jump over and be able to be flexible with that. But where I am spending most of my time is actually on a new product, and I'm not gonna go too much into details because I can't, but it's basically a new dialysis machine that we're working on, and it's very early in the project. We're trying to get it up and running, um, and it's very exciting. So two very different things, one more on the sustaining side for products that we already have existing, and then a completely new product. So I'm doing a lot of different things, I have mentioned before, but most of what I do can be do, done from home. A lot of the things that I'm working on currently are just more on the documentation side, which I actually really enjoy. I like getting in the lab and seeing things work as well, but I'm totally fine with working in documentation. I have absolutely no problem with it, especially if it means working from home. So you won't hear any complaints from me. So. With all of that kind of being explained, I'm going to go ahead and get started. It's really not gonna look like much from your perspective, I know, because most of what I do is just clacking around on the computer, but I promise you it is some very exciting stuff, and when I come across something that I feel like I can explain to you, I'm definitely going to stop and take that opportunity. So for now, I'm gonna leave it at that and get to work. It is now 10.30 and I am going to make myself some breakfast. Again, love working from home, so many perks, just the flexibility of everything, but also being able to make a meal whenever you get hungry is just so nice. Instead of having to have things pre-packed and take it with you and you only have what you prepped yourself or you have to run out and go get something. So very happy that I get to just make my own meals whenever I want. It's so nice. Here is breakfast. Now back to work. It is just shy of noon. My team meeting that I mentioned earlier is at noon. It's a lunch meeting. I made myself a little snack, some yogurt and strawberries. So I'm about to call in and hear an update on where things are at with the team. Two o'clock now, I had a quick call with my manager to catch up on a couple things. I've been working on risk documentation for the new product project that I'm working on. And then for the MDR project, I've been doing some tracing between requirements to their associated test protocols and the test reports for those test protocols, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing for the remainder of the day. But first, I'm going to make myself some lunch. Lunch, back to work. It's 4.30, which means I'm winding down for the day. Murphy came to say hello. He loves when I start talking to the camera. Um, I'm gonna finish up a couple last minute things, just wrap things up before I call it quits for the day. And then after work, I typically work out, make dinner, just kind of chill, especially today and the next couple days, Scott's traveling, so it's just me and the Murph man. So nothing too terribly exciting, but that's basically the gist of my work day. I know I wasn't able to show you a ton and I, I kind of explained what I was working on, so I'm, I'm not quite sure if you have any other questions for me on what I do or if you enjoyed this video, but please let me know because I really enjoy making it. I enjoy talking about what I do because I love it and so it's a huge part of my life. So 
it's fun making a video every now and then just talking about where I'm at with my career. And yeah, subscribe if you wanna see more from me. I post new videos every week. You can also give me a follow on Instagram for even more content from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.